Tommy Kendall here inside the SRT Motorsports uh, Lounge, inside our trailer. And uh, you know, one of the biggest challenges of coming here to Le Mans is you don't get to ship your own, you don't always ship your own stuff. So this uh, truck was is on loan from uh, Dominic Farnbacher's father, who is also in the race business. And so uh, we're fortunate to have this. And so you know, between the <clears throat> the little cabins we stay in, which are little mobile homes with the IKEA interiors, it's it's the logistics of getting everything sorted out. So. Uh, we come in here this week to do our debriefing and hang out in between and just uh, what have you. So uh, let's uh, take you and show you uh, behind the scenes. So we are standing on the famed pit lane here at Le Mans and it is noon on Thursday, but it feels like uh, 7 a.m. The schedule here is one of the most unique things about this. Namely, our first on-track activity today is 7 p.m. We run 7 to 9 and 10 to midnight. So everything is just shifted. So you have to, even though you try to get on the Europe schedule, you're almost better off staying on American timing, staying up late because you can't go to sleep, sleeping in late, uh, just to shift everything. So uh, a lot of activity. Today is uh, the day that all the race stuff is going in. Race engines, or race lumps, as uh, Steve Matchett would say, uh, are going in gearboxes and so forth. And we wanna, we're want to we going to put some time on them tonight, get some uh, miles on them to make sure there's no issues with any of it. But um, as you can tell, you know, all this stuff uh, is built out as we, you know, the, the interiors, all these walls, everything that's inside these is all brought in by the teams, and you've got varying levels of it. Uh, but they're all, but it looks, it's pretty uh, inspiring, the, the level of detail and attention to detail. Obviously, people like Audi, they set the bar. They've got this uh, skyscraper over here for their hospitality. But it's, the presentation is really one of the things that struck me about what's so different here at Le Mans. So you head back in here, tool areas. And you'll see uh, during the race, there'll be some just little uh, beach chairs, really, and the crew guys will go into their little sleep mode like your computer car comes in. They'll tap the space bar, uh, spring back to life, uh, and so forth. So you can just see parts uh, strewn around, kind of like uh, front yard of uh, a house in, uh, in maybe in uh, Mississippi, but uh, every one of these parts is, is expensive. Carbon fiber drive shafts, expensive, really expensive axles. Coming back in here, and uh, over here we've got the, the, the lids. This is where all the helmets go, helmets, Hans, so forth. Everyone's got their little bits of stuff, drink bottles, supplements, et cetera, will be, will be staged here. Uh, this is an interesting little tidbit. This, is, uh, this got put up, you know, my teammate, the Goose. Uh, this is from an actual Chrysler safety bulletin uh, that was circulated around Chrysler, how to prevent a goose attack. And I'll read you one here. This is the actual wording, number four. Stay calm. Don't yell or try to hit the goose. His female may join the attack. Then you will be in real trouble. So uh, lots of practical advice for our competitors here. Townsend Bell uh, might want to take note after the last lap at Laguna Seca, to some of that stuff. This is, uh, this is basically our pit stand, our timing stand, which is weird. There's not enough room out there. So everything that goes on in the timing stand at one of our normal races is going on in here. And so because they've got extra room, We've got a bunch of screens. They'll try to tap in and uh, be spotters uh, watching around the course, calling uh, the cars that are coming. They'll call fast LMP1 car, slow LMP1 car, et cetera, et cetera. And so it, it's theoretically, these guys could be anywhere. They never see a car go by on the track virtually, and they're up for 24 hours, unlike us, that will we'll get hopefully a little bit of sleep. Uh, everything is just different here. This, this machine, which... Uh, you're not allowed to use just fuel cans. So whenever the fuel comes out of the car, it has to come out into this unit uh, or go into the fuel rig. So everything is just different here. So that's one of the big things for us, first time here, is getting used to all the little intricacies of how they do things at Le Mans. Out the back side of the garage, over here is uh, our pizza ovens. This is where we bake the, uh, the Michelins. So tire warmers, which is a first for me. Uh, it's kind of neat to come out of the pits with uh, the tires at operating temperature. Uh, and so you'll see uh, there's a, when the tires are going on the car, you've got to stand clear because there's just a big rush of guys uh, rolling tires up forward. See some engines. These are the ones that just, just came out. There's the goose himself right now. Do not, I, I told them uh, how to prevent a goose attack. We spent some time oh, on that. Did, so yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Yep. Ryan Dial, look at that, our supermodel. Work it. Uh, body work, 
to show you how uh, seriously they take their rules, uh, these doors here that open out to the outer paddock, you see these yellow lines here. I saw an official ride by and I saw him grab the brakes on a scooter park and come marching in here. The goose's bike was over the yellow line. Uh, and so that is against the rules. And so uh, we had to get that rectified. So back here, we've got a, uh, a prep area for gearboxes. The uh, cover going on the ring and pinion now. Dominic Farnbacher, Hi guys. who's feeling a little under the weather. We've got, but we've got our guys giving him the tune-up. We've got a physio and a masseuse uh, that are, got him tuned up. He's gonna. This guy's one tough dude, so he'll be good to go on Saturday. But uh, hopefully, he'll be feeling 100 percent as well. The engineering lounge where we did the introduction. Uh, there's a cappuccino maker, snacks and stuff in there for the guys. And this is out onto uh, the boulevard, if you will. And so that is what is behind the curtains, if you will. Thanks for joining us.